the blue litmus right here. I am now dipping it in. You can see it's blue. Let's dip it in. See? Aditi, can you see? Mom, mine already turned red. See? Yeah, Aditi, can you see? The mine turned red. Yeah, can you see the difference in color? The blue is turning red. Aditi, can you see my litmus paper? Yes, ma'am, I can see. Ma'am, I used half of it, like the half size of yours. What does it indicate? It's blue is turning, turning red. Ma'am, that the yeah. solution is acidic. Yeah, the solution is acidic. Ma'am, see, it's done fully red. Ma'am, it's slowly turning red. Yeah, mine, look, I did not dip it fully. So you can still see mine, half blue and half red. I dipped it fully. Mom. No, 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 that's fine, but I am just showing you. Okay. You can do the hand picking process for them. You should pour to another glass, ma'am. Yeah, first remove the thermocol balls, if you can remove. Ah, okay. But it's taking my hand. I don't know what the way it's taking. What? Yeah, it's fine, but you'll be able to remove them all with the hand picking method. So, where are you able to do? You can see. Mexico, can you see that impurities and the water are different? Yes, ma'am. Can you see? Yes, ma'am. I can see. This is the process of sedimentation. Okay. Okay, ma'am. I think it's a bit slimy in texture as well. Yeah, ma'am. It's slimy. Don't touch it. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. See. It's fine if you are unable to mix it properly, but you can see the upper portion, right? Yes, ma'am. How dark it has gotten. Yes, ma'am. So, if the color of this solution, it turns to gray, uh, to purplish or the dark violet, it confirms the presence of protein. So, do you think... There is protein in the milk powder. Yeah, ma'am. Yes, we can also try this on different food items that you think they have protein. Yes, now we connect the clip and you have to keep pulling, keep pulling the cotton. Okay. Okay, keep pulling the cotton slowly. Okay, now we will. Wait. Yes, keep pulling the. Ma'am, if I start pulling, it won't work. Why? Wait, hold it from a little closer. Okay. Yeah, like yes. I'm just getting it a bit thinner. Yeah, yeah, it, 
it did. Yeah. Yes. Keep pulling it. So they can't hold it. So they can't hold it. They can't hold it. Now I love it. Try to make the longest thread. You can see my thread is getting longer. This is the process of we just made little spinner. Ma'am? Yes. Ma'am? See? So you can see that there is the camphor has melted and it has turned into gas. And now when we cooled it down, the it has again become solid, but on the walls of the glass. Can you see? You can touch the walls, by the way. It's not corrosive. See? Done. Yeah, done. Yeah. So glad. Can you see the all the camphor is here now? So what happens to the camphor is, uh, this is basically known as the sublimation of camphor. So in this physical change, you can see, this is a physical change because there is no formation of a new substance, right? Yes, ma'am. The camphor has just changed its state. First, it was solid, then it became gaseous, and on cooling, it again became solid, right? Yes, ma'am. So this process is known as the sublimation of camphor because no new substance is formed. It's camphor only. It just changed its states. Yes, ma'am. 